when Linda died, I gave up my business. I was just so depressed. A realtor, friends of mine, called me up and said, Abe, I want you to come see a piece of land to build a big building again. I said, I'm not doing anything. Finally, one day, he knocks at the door at my house, and he said, you're coming with me. I said, OK. And I went. And I saw this land, and, and the uh, things started to bubble. I built the Linda Poland Memorial Housing, which was for low-income families. We had 1,700 kids living in that project. And when I went to see the federal housing to finance it, I said, I want to build a swimming pool. And they said, that's not in the regulations. You can't build a swimming pool. I said, sir, you don't understand. I've got a bunch of kids there. They can't afford to go to camp. What are they going to do? I said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to build it anyhow, which I did, because she loved kids. She loved kids. And she told her dad, when I get married, I'm going to have four or five kids. She loved kids. Yeah. One day, I was in a restaurant. Somebody comes up to me, and he says, are you Mr. Poland? I said, I am, sir, but I don't know who you are. He said, you don't know me. He said, I was a kid when I moved into Linda Poland Memorial, and it changed my life. And he said, mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I get emotional. Because I think about my daughter. <laughs> He said, I moved in there as a kid, and we had never had a decent place to live in our lives. And he said, you changed my life. He said, now I'm a very successful businessman. And he said, I owe it all to you.